Hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again. I bring you news from my hometown, Ghana. Today's news is actually a sad one. It's about a 26-year-old guy who beat up his 3-year-old boy for allegedly uh, breaking his phone and also bed wetting. Can you believe that? When you hear stories like this, what will come into your mind is uh, the, uh, the fact that is whether the, the person who was able to carry out this action is educated. Mother of the child is now separated from the man and is living in a different town with the son. But on the 6th of April, that was the son's uh, birthday, the mother decided that, okay, he should uh, send the son to his father to celebrate his third birthday with the father. That's a nice one, right? But after the birthday, I don't even know if the birthday was celebrated. Uh, but after that, the mother tried to take the boy back and then the father did not allow her to. So the boy was stuck with the father who was hitting the boy every now and then until this one become, became so serious and then it got out of hand and people got to hear about it and they informed the mother and the mother came around. When she came around, my goodness, the state in which she saw the boy, she couldn't stand it. She was all tears and she took the boy to the hospital and then later the police arrested the gentleman. The gentleman is an educated person. He has completed tertiary institution and is currently doing his national service. And I'm wondering, what kind of father will do this to his own son, his own blood son, for breaking his phone? According to the police, the, the phone wasn't even a smartphone. It's the kind of phone that we call YAM here in Ghana. The one that doesn't have any uh, smart applications, the ordinary phone. That was the kind of phone the, guy, the child damaged and was beating mercilessly with a cable, with a metal cable. He beat his own blood son like this. And also he added that the boy was bed wetting, that the boy urinated on his bed. For goodness sake, he's three years old. Most three year olds are still bed wetting. And that's why they sell diapers. If you cannot take care of the boy, let the mother take care of him. And you took the boy from the mother and you are subjecting the, the boy to this kind of treatment. I'm sure he's just he has issues with the mother. He hasn't been able to, you know, overcome whatever issues he had with the mother of the child. And so he has decided to transfer every anger onto the poor boy. Who does this? I mean, seriously. This is so, it's ridiculous, you know? And I heard someone saying this morning that, look, it's not everybody who is literate that is educated. And that is very true. This guy is a literate, but he is not educated. He doesn't understand what it's like to be a father. I'm sure he wasn't prepared psychologically to be a father. And then it took him by surprise and he just got the son. Uh, otherwise, I, I can't make sense of this kind of situation. I don't understand. And I, I apologize for showing you these kinds of pictures. But I just wanted you to understand the story. Yeah. Junior's body depicts a prisoner of war tortured in a concentration camp. Deep cuts and marks of assault spread over his back, hands and thigh with two huge bumps on the forehead. As little as he is, Junior is able to narrate what happened to him.
Olyan a délodény? Lehet, hogy jobban. A dobóni. Baba is Junior's 26-year-old mother who dated the child's father, a national service person, for about seven years. The relationship collapsed because of what she alleges was physical abuse by the man. Ebenezer reportedly took the child on a weekly visitation and started abusing him. She says it took the intervention of police at Bokrum to rescue the child despite attempts by the father to conceal the act. Anytime when I called him, he refused to pick my calls. And I decided to go there and check on the chat. But he said no. So I reported him to the police. So I came with the police and they took my son to the police station. Then that I know my son is... <laughs>